Hi everybody, this is the Math 30-1 Functions Review. This is question 7. Actually, question 7 is a, is a pretty good question. It's a, kind of an involved one here. The volume of a box is represented by the function, and they, they give you the volume of the box right there, this function right here. Okay, an expression for the height of the box is x plus 2. Okay, so it's a fairly simple expression here. Then it says here, if the actual area of the base is 24 centimeters squared, determine the actual height of the box. So we want to figure out the exact value of this x plus 2, which means what we need to know here is what, is what x is, specifically. Which means, really, what we need is an equation. Um, so because I'm given the exact value of the area of the base, this is what I have to work with. I need an expression for the base so that I can set it equal to this, because this is the only actual value that I've got. So then the question is, how do I get, how do I get a value for the base? Well, volume is going to be the area of the base times the height. And you'll, you'll see in a lot of, a lot of uh, resources here that when they're referring to the area of the base of some sort of poly, uh, polyhedra here, um, that they'll use beta the Greek letter beta to refer to that. Now, for me to get the, an expression for the area of the base, beta there, I just need to divide by h. Okay, so what that means here is that area of the base is going to be x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6, that's the volume, all over x plus 2. Okay, so I've got to do this, this division here. Now, uh, this would be a good opportunity to use either polynomial long division, and I can already hear some of you groaning, okay? Or you could use the synthetic division, okay? And let's use synthetic division. There are two ways to set up synthetic division. Um, I am going to do this a very specific way here. Now, notice what we do with synthetic division. If you now you should be familiar with this. We're just taking the coefficients and listing them out. Now, what I'm going to do is, because I'm dividing by x plus 2, I'm going to put negative 2 out front. Okay, I typically do that because we, we are very comfortable since, since math 10. I think we should be very comfortable with this idea that if you've got this binomial x plus 2, when you're looking for that value of x, it's going to, uh, when you set that equal to 0, because we do that an awful lot, we're very used to changing the signs on that number here. So I, I prefer to do it this way also because of, of what it allows us to do here. So now I'm going to bring down the 1, multiply by negative 2, and then I add. Okay, if you put a positive 2 out front here, then you just have to subtract. That's the only difference. Okay, so it, it's really just, just a, a preference thing. So 6 and negative 2 is going to be 4. Multiply by the negative 2, we're going to get negative 8. 11 and negative 8 is going to be 3. Negative 2 times 3 is going to be negative 6. And when I add, I get 0. Now, I was hoping for that because remember this right here is the remainder. So that meant that that meant that x plus two was a factor of this expression right here. When I'm when I'm setting up my my expression for the area of the base, I'm not going to have some sort of weird weird leftover that I got to work with here. So my expression for the area of the base is going to be now. Now you got to know how to interpret this. This is the constant. This is the linear term. This is the quadratic term. So this is going to be x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, good. Now I've got that expression. I can now plug in the 24 because I have a value for that. And now I've got to solve the quadratic. And I do that by bringing the 24 over to set the quadratic equal to 0. Okay, and this will be minus 21. And then I'm going to factor this, and now thankfully this this works out quite nicely. Okay, this is going to be x plus seven, x minus three. Could have been a lot worse. Could have required the quadratic formula, but it didn't. And when I get it down to this point right here, just like I was suggesting over here, when I've got these binomials here, I know that my roots are going to be negative seven and positive three. In this context, though, negative 7 doesn't make any sense because I'm looking at, uh, for a value of x that's going to correspond to, or going to help me figure out what the height is of the box here. If you plug negative 7 into this, I'm going to get that the height of the box is negative 5, and that, that just doesn't make any sense. So therefore, the height of x has got to be 3, and the height, when you plug the, uh, that value of in for x here, the height ends up being 5. 
Man, that's, that's just a really good question. 